Hey guys, Tim Wilson UK here with another video in the series, The Golf Club. I'm going to carry on where I finished off the last couple of videos and that's doing another course that was recommended to me by a friend on Steam and also on the HB forums and that's a course by Melody May. The course is The Melodies, so let's find it and get straight into the round. Now, the last two I've played have been um, nine hole courses so let's have a quick look and moldy that's crazy melody there we go the melodies 5.9 rating 35 plays 18 holes okay right so we've gone I've had four courses to play four recommendations from four different people um, that play the golf club created courses and wanted me to record videos I've done an 18 two nines and then sandwiched or two nines sandwiched between uh, two 18 so let's uh, Let's get into this round, and I'll do what I always do with um, that I have done in the other three. What I'll do is I will. Melody actually played this. Huh. That's strange. Okay, so Melody hasn't actually played this. Um, this is. Her course. She probably played it when she was creating it, but um, doesn't look like she's actually posted a score on here. So what I'll do is I will play without a ghost ball on this round. It's not a problem. Wow, that is tight. That is really tight. I'm going to have to aim. <coughs> Excuse me, at the base of that tree and see if it drops right at the last minute. And that is going right at the tree, so hopefully. Oh, that's a good kick. <laughs> that kicked right into the middle of the fairway. It's not a long hole, so 256 is going to be enough. I'm going to have about 100 yards into the flag. Alright, 107 yards I want here. Um, so let's take a little bit off of that. Got a slight side hill lie, so let's allow for that as well. And that looks good. Bite. Oof, that didn't bite as much as I wanted it to. Nice stag in the background there. Got some flowers around the green, and I can't see shit. I cannot see anything here. 33 feet, one foot up. Can't see the hole. That doesn't help me. Can't see anything. Ah, oh, man, this is tough because I don't know where this is going. Right, can I putt from here? <coughs> <coughs> okay, so I can't putt from there either. That's going to just be hit and hope. Yeah, there was no way I was ever going to get that in. That was just hit and hope. Couldn't see anything. That's one thing that they seriously need to fix. So that's a par on the first. I'm not too not too pissed off about that, purely because of the fact that I just couldn't see anything there. So what do we got here? This is the fairway. Alright, so it's a big dog leg with a massive big lake to cross to start with. Let's pump it up this hill. I think I'm going to have... Yeah, I've got the clubs to get up there. There we go. should be okay if it skirts the edge of those trees which it has done and that is spot on can it hold the fairway though yes it has and it's going to leave me another little short shot into the green here 70 yards let's take a smidge off that and let's let's go and see if we can get this nice and close excellent 
Alright, no trees to get in the way this time though. Alright, a little bit of movement on this one. 12 feet. And I've missed it on the low side. Another par. So two pars on the bounce. Quite tough course so far. What have we got here? Okay, so that. Okay, so you have to hit this in a bunker. Because with a three wood to get there, because you wouldn't get there with a five wood, with a three wood to get there, there's no way you're going to be able to stop the ball rolling off the green. So I've got to hope that I catch one of those bunkers. Because otherwise I'm going to be in the water. Okay, I caught the bunker. <coughs> That's that hole's a little strange because um, you wouldn't ordinarily want to aim for a bunker. So that one plays a little weird. Um, I don't think, unless you chip it in out of the bunker, I don't think there's ever going to be any opportunity of getting a birdie on that hole. But three pars so far, first three holes, not a bad start. What do we got here? We got a par five, six hundred yards. Wow, where does this go? Okay, so it goes down to that little island <coughs> and then across. That is a long long hole, 607 yards and I can't even I don't want to go too long with this either you see that's a 4 iron at 97% and I am gonna yeah oh just managed to hold the fairway so where are we going now we're going can I get over the trees though? That's the problem. Yes, like threading a neat. Oh, maybe not. Rolling. Thank God for that. All right. So still 156 to the flag. Tough hole. 156 plus 6. 162 to the flag. Plus I'm in the sand. Alright, I'm just going to have to play this up to the green. I don't know how that's come out, because it was anything from 76 to 90 odd. It's going to hold the green, is it? No, it's not. So this, unless you got the wind behind you on that second shot, I don't think you're going to get a birdie here either. Stop. <coughs> okay, so four pars. That was a tough hole. Right, where is this going? Let's have a look. So just a complete 90 degree dog leg here. Um, let's have a look. I think a three wood's going to be too big. Can we cut the corner here? It's downhill. Let's go here. See if we can cut the corner. Needs a good bounce, which it's got. Okay, rolled into the fairway. 243. It's going to leave about 155 to the flag. 134 to the flag wind behind let's take a little bit off of this that should be okay needs a little bit of a roll needs to check up now needs to stop come on all right so the greens are dead hard i even put some 
um, put some elevation on that to try and slow it down, but it just didn't want to know. This is going to be a tough one. Okay, that's going to leave a tough par putt now as well. Right, pars all the way through five. Consistent, but pars are not going to do it. We need some yellow numbers on that scorecard. Skinny little fairway there between those bunkers, right where the ball's going to land as well. Is that straight enough to get through? Yes. Cracking drive. <coughs> A nice little picturesque approach shot there. Got a boat in the background. Little gazebo going on there. Nice. Alright, 111. Let's take this. Let's dial this back. Let's see if we can get this to stop. That looks good. Oh man, nothing is checking up! <coughs> Excuse me. It's cold stunts. Really do my head in now. What is that over there? Something float. Ah, there must be some water over there. Those are swans. All I could see was these little question mark things going on in the background there. Okay, it's got an uphill putt here for birdie. Turn. Yes, birdie on the card. Nice. One under through six. Okay, tough par three. 209 yards. Once again, really difficult to get this to stop. It's going to... It is going to end up in the back. Because I don't think you can stop this. I think the the iron's too long. You can't put enough loft on it to get it to stop. Yeah, you see that's going to roll straight in. Unless you hit right in the front of the green, it's never going to stop. Another par. Okay, very strange that it's given us a seven iron off the tee there, and it's par five. Can we go over the top of the clubhouse? I think we can, you know. And it's coming back. This could be a beautiful drive. It is a beautiful drive. A lot of water on this course. 232. A little bit of uphill. Once again, this is this is tough because you can't play short and roll it up. Which means if you mm, yeah, this is this is tough. This is a tough course. Because this is going to come up short and plug in the bunker. Really difficult. The only way I think you can do that is lay up, but I don't like laying up, so it's never going to happen. That is about the best I could do from there, so now we need to try and finish off a little bit of lag there finish this off the birdie two under yeah not really reachable in two but then again it's a par five so you know the smart play would be to lay up um, as I say I'm never that keen on laying up unless I'm playing in on the tour and I'm holding a position basically um, if I'm not holding a position I'm always going to go for the risky shot <coughs> Good bounce across the corner of that bunker. Hole nine. So this one's coming into the clubhouse, is it? 
Is that the clubhouse? That must be the clubhouse on the left hand side there. Or halfway house at least. So 172.7, so that's 170. So we've got 170 in our hand at the moment on a 6 iron. I'm going to take a bit more off this because it seems to be rolling a little bit more than normal. The greens are firm and I've yanked that so that's not going to be good anyway. Shit. Alright, so... Damn it. Let's get this close and pick up the par. Okay. Okay, so two under through nine, respectable, no drop shots, nice and white and yellow on that first strip. Let's see if I can keep it going. Where are we going now? Oh, we're not going that way, we are going this way. Okay, another one where we've got to thread a needle through the bunkers here. that wind going to push that into that right hand bunker? No, skirted the edge. Beautiful drive. Exactly 75 yards. What I've got in my hand, well I need to take three off for the difference in elevation. Little bit of different, a uh, little bit of wind. Bite. Thank you. One actually bites. And it should do with a lofted club and adding extra elevation to the shot. And we pick up another birdie. Good stuff. So far I'm pretty impressed with the course. A um, couple of little bits, you know, approaches into greens, not enough roll or not enough space to allow for roll. Can't get the elevation on the shot to actually check it up. So it's either going to roll straight off the back or straight in the bunker. But apart from that, like it, really like it. Don't like pitch shots, so don't bother giving me that. 83. Nine, so that's eighty-six. All right, so we want eighty-six yards. So we want to. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and get this to stop. I'm gonna take a longer club and really put some spin on it. Yeah, that works. I think I'm going to try that more often. Try and put extra spin on the shot. Yes, another birdie. Back to back. Mm, good start to the back nine. Okay, what do we got here? We got another long iron. And another tiny green. Okay, these are proving to be difficult, so 197. Now, I think I'm just going to hit this, because I don't think I'm going to be able to stop it anyway. There's no point in me trying to put extra elevation on the 3 iron, because I don't think it's going to stop it. I really don't think it's going to stop it. See, that's just going to roll. So, I think I'm just going to accept that it's not going to stop. and just take my par and move on because they are tough. Those those shallow greens with long irons are really, really tough. Alright, a narrow fairway here. Can we get anywhere with a driver? I think that's asking for trouble to be fair. Par 5.
That should be okay. Yep, yeah, that's good. Alright, where are we going now? Straight down. We ain't gonna get there, so... I think I'm gonna play this really smart. We're not gonna get there, so I'm gonna leave that well short, especially with that four mile an hour wind behind, because that's gonna push it forward a little bit. I'm gonna have a little shot across the the pond or the lake. Don't want a pit shot. Sixty-three. So what do we got for sixty-three? Let's try. And be smart here. Let's try and stop this again. On a dime. As my American friends would say. Bang! It stopped. But it's not close enough. And that's in. Oh, we're firing on all cylinders now. Three and four. It's only taken me one eighteen hole, two nine hole courses to warm up. What is that in the middle of the fairway? Bunnies! Alright, it's a long par 4. 134, 5 up. Wind behind. Let's take a smidge off of this and hope that it bites. It's not going to stop. Yes, it is. Okay, we're on. Dance floor. Turn. Oh, we grabbed it by the balls. All right, another birdie. Holy cow. All right, not a chance. <laughs> not a chance going to take a f driver there. All right, that needs to sit down. Right, slow down now. Slow down. Okay, that's going to stay in the fairway. <coughs> 138. We need to get at the back because... Yeah, we just need to get to the back here. So I'm going to leave that there. And hope the wind does the work here. And that, that's why we need to get to the back, because this is going to be a tough shot here to stop. Stop. Ah, uh, this could be the first drop shot here. This is a tough part. Get in. Mmm, pa. Right, three to play. Oh no. Another one. These par, these long par threes with no green to work with are impossible, Melody. I'm going to try and play this short and roll it up, I think. that's going to be in the bunker or short in the bunker so don't matter what you do you still end up in the bunker which is a bit pants Still picked up the par though, so bogey free round so far. What do 
Category 5 under par, 6 under par. I'm happy with that, I just need to keep this one in the middle of the fairway. And that's going to get a lovely kick forward. It's going to take it right to the corner. So 263. This, oh, this is 17. I thought this was 18. So we're not going to get there here. I don't think so. Not unless it gets a cracking roll. And I've only hit it 94%. So that's not going to help my cause in getting there for two. Maybe could have got there for two if I'd have hit 100%. Well, I'm not a million miles away. Okay, birdie opportunity, and it's quite flat, so let's just bang that in, 7 under, and what do we got on the last hole? We finish off with a par 4, and the main amount of work, ah, this is tough, this is tough, because can you get over that bunker, you know what, I'm not even going to try. I'm going to play this short and have a longer second shot. 92%. Wow. Still 200 yards though, so I'm going to have 150 into the flag. One fifty or five off that as well, so one fifty one. So I need about one fifty here, I think. Club. It's not going to hold the green. I'm going to be in the flowers. That'll do. That'll serve me up a nice par to finish the round, and I'm pleased with that. That's a bogey-free round, and I haven't had one of those in a long time. So, my thoughts on the course. I like it a lot. It is, um, it's got a lot of realism to it. Um, some really nice features, well presented. Um, a, lot of, um, a lot of good use of objects in the, in, on the course. So, um, cracking job there. My only criticism, the really long par threes. Um, you can't stop the ball on the green. So, you're either going to be short or you're going to be long in a bunker. Um, really tough to play. Yeah, you can get pars on them, but there's no, there's never going to be a birdie opportunity unless you hit the flag or unless you chip in out of the bunker or from off the green. But overall, I like the course a lot. As I say, it's been a long time since I've had a, a bogey free round, so um, that shows that I did enjoy it. And not because not I shot a, a really low score, because I enjoyed the other ones that I've, uh, that I've played today. But um, yeah, thanks very much for that, Melody. And um, yeah, for the people that have watched it, um, if you enjoyed the round and you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed the course, hit the like button, leave the comments in the box below. And if you want to see more videos like this, remember to hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you on the next video, which will be coming up shortly. Thanks again for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye now.